Hello, Jean and everybody. It's us again. If you look to your left, I'm going to do this because we're now going past it. To the left, to the left. Remember where Smedley's was on Norwich Road? Now we have that. Isn't that delightful? I just thought I'd take you on a little tour on the way back to Rocks. Haven't picked Andy up. Done a bit sharp. I've got to bore you to death so you fall asleep. Remember the old water towers? How could you forget? Look at all them aerials and that on there now. So I was just looking at it, it's got more on there than NASA. I know. A little further up Norwich Road as we're coming out of the delightful town of North Walsham. And stopping at the lights that seem to have been <laughs> spring up everywhere. What was once a field, if you recall, gone out of town, is now these new homes. I'm so tempted, I, I seriously, I've got to say, I'm so sorry, but we've got so many um, lovely people coming into our country <coughs> that we have to keep building homes. So they're popping up all over the place. Sound like flagpole. That's because it is. Behind us. Nothing like running in the British countryside. And then you can look at a nice age. <laughs> drive and I came out there deliberately because I know the road. There's a bump there. Yeah. Approaching the Thrupney bit cottages where sadly we had one lad lose his life Two. on the left and another lad lost his life on the right. Both young lads. Terribly sad. Blood it up now. It's getting bloody bumpy. Bobbing along, bobbing along. Anyone watching this is going to get seasick. <laughs> oh. I don't normally break ground here. You do when you got idiots like that in front. I do, I do, it is true. And then on our left. Captain's Pond. In a minute. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself. Just a bit. It's a shame all them beautiful flowers aren't out and the, the colours are all absolutely awesome. And they cover the whole sides of that. As you can see, we do have a touch of the golden globe in the sky today. Just a touch. Which is why we're filming it, so we can remember it. Because <laughs> it's so rare. Now we got an Audi driver in front. Driving sensibly for a change. Well, I ain't caring then. Through 
what was Westwick Garage. Maybe all breezed in. Automatically, every time you came through it, you breezed in. What the hell good that was going to do, I don't know. One of these days, I'll take it on the camp so you can have a mosey round there with me. Providing they allow me. I don't see why not. The poor excuse for security. <laughs> Little man hiding in a hut. Little man, he was about 40 stone. <laughs> Chris is huge. Well, you know his name though. Oh yes. <laughs> First name terms with security. <laughs> prison and all. It's no wonder I've been locked up in there yet. Give it time. <laughs> I've got an event on. Yeah. Skate and trash today. Ah. On on. On Scott. No. <laughs> on our left, we've got what was Scott of Horseshoes. Um, as you can see, that's had a fair old bit of work done. Um, it's now, if I'm right, it's a holiday home, costing lots of pennies. Now we're going on a little trundle through Tunstead. And the road's going to get very bloody bumpy. On the first ever dual carriageway. <laughs> it's not a dual carriageway. Listen. It's a road with a grass island in the middle. Yeah, but they said it was the first ever dual carriageway in the country. All right. They said so. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to enter this wonderful piece of history and you get wrist ache. I thought well, that was my camera beeping for a second. No, that's my car telling me I'm too close to the hedge. We're in an off-roader. Oh, that's a shame. There we are, we're on the little dual carriageway, look. Oh look, there's like a man and woman. No shit. <laughs> you can slow it down, can't you? Then we'd be talking like this. <laughs> well, we do anyway. <laughs> I do reckon we're slow in Norfolk. Oh, I don't. That's all guys nag me about how slow <laughs> we are. Do I care? Do I hell? I like watch an Irishman on YouTube. God, he can talk fast. Scots are like that and all, aren't they? Yep. You really have to concentrate when you're listening to them. The car in the middle of the road. Ouch, that hurt. What? Now entering Tunstead. The bikes are broke down. Oh, like a man and woman sitting on the hedge. What tires that size on a bike? How the heck they get a puncture? You see the size of them? Yeah. And Tunstead School. I do 
we left Hunstead. It's a nice little village, isn't it? Yeah. And the horse and groom that actually closed for a while. Where is it? And has now reopened oh, there? under new management. And if you look to the right, even more new homes having been built on a field. Oh, that's busy today. It's busy. Hang out, you niggas, because we're going over the railway line. of long vehicles phone before crossing. Boy, how long did it take them to get across there? Half an hour. This is the bit I love. I think that's lovely, this bit. These houses. Yeah. Oh, and I'm being a model citizen and following the speed limit correctly. Oh, I've stuck it there now, haven't I? Boring. Pull that bloody air freshener down in a minute. <coughs> Big old barn conversion. Yeah, an awful lot of them around as well. I nearly dropped the camera. Could have. <laughs> I'm surprised that one hadn't been converted. Give it yet. time. And then on our left, in a spot. Yee gods, I got granny up the exhaust pipe. That'd make a change. Holy moly, man. <laughs> Fuck me, I'll break in a minute. Do more damage to that, it's only a KA. I know. That front wheel lights tin full. Rocks and barns. Nice place, if you can afford it. I haven't been there since I was little. No, I haven't been there for years either. We all do it actually one day, you know. You probably haven't been there since I was little. <laughs> okay. I think that's the fastest I've seen Granny drive. Yeah, have you seen how close she is to the wheel? <laughs> Stuff <laughs> me. Oh, oh, she's getting closer again. She'll get closer in a minute if I break. <laughs> Jesus. We have a thing in this country at the moment where everybody We've suddenly got cycles and cycling everywhere. Pardon me. And now we're coming into... Um, yes, I will get it right. You were going to say Roxham, weren't you? <laughs> Although it's a blanket of Roxham. Get it right, this is the Hofton then. Roxham's the other side of the bridge. Do we did used to live? One of these, somewhere. That one where the builder's sign is, yeah. fir trees. Beautiful, isn't it? Really? And we've just been overtaken by Granny in a speed limit of 30, which I am following. And she's at... Oh, give me a break. Grandma didn't gain much. Now she's up the arse of that focus in front. There's something wrong with her, you know. Pullman driver! Sod off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she gained so much. And how can you tell it's a nice, fine, dry, sunny afternoon? Because we've got a bit bloody up. Classic Fiat Panda there. Because... 
Yeah. And motorbikes? No, a fair bit of traffic around. It's been quiet the last couple of weeks. Because the weather's not been too brilliant. Go on, someone T-bone that cack for me. <coughs> Silly old duffer. Brilliant layout here, twin roundabouts. Somebody got paid a lot of money in thinking about this. And Where the hell has she gone? She went round the corner there. Did she? Mm. That's another old granny in front. What could be a granddad? Oh, it's the, the polis. Broad patrol. Smile, you're on camera. Yeah. I'm driving. Coming down into the centre of Halfton Village with the Polis station there and good old Roy's. Broad's boat is still there. The biggest village store in the world is our claim to fame. That's the clothes department, etc. Candles. They do four candles. The Hoverton Centre. Town of Roy's. Oh yeah, they're the world's largest village store. Never noticed that's in the window. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> We've got the toy department. Mackie D's. And Sheedy's boyfriend. Children's World. What's down there? And look at all these lovely people. We're going over the bridge. And far away. <laughs> and what do you do on a Sunday afternoon? You come and annoy us in rocks. That's what you do. Come down here at night and that'll be so quiet. My bike. It's real me. Me? Yeah. Live near us? Don't know. Bungalow on the end. All right. The single big bungalow, three bedrooms. All right. That's a little roomy. And the ones that Ian and Sarah fell out with. Oh no. <laughs> Not that that is difficult, is it? As you can see, there's an awful lot of money down this road. What's the weather like up there? <coughs> yeah, I'm bloody glad I got to come down one of them in the frost. You come down rather quick. And if this you is where careful. they do the funny handshakes and hop on one leg and round the trouser leg up. The Masonic Lodge. What the hell is the Masonic Lodge? It used to be a secret society. Very close to society. We can go to the stool, stall, stool, stalled out today, not a stool. Yeah, go on, reverse, make my day. And then I'd get done. Oh, you wouldn't, because I've got the camera running. <laughs> <laughs> Smart thinking. Over the hill and far away. In Teletubby Land. Smells like someone's got a bonfire. Ooh, yes. Oh, that is nasty. Now, one of these lovely giant roundabouts we have. Round here. We're going to turn left. the bend. We all know I'm round the bend. We're going to turn in here. And this is where we live. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <coughs> it's a park. That's a car. <laughs> 
your car parked. And these up the corner there are the last ones. They will be finished very shortly. Gonna miss all these guys. Got used to them being up on scaffolding and clanging and banging and what have you every day. But these, um, apparently these are meant to be finished and people moving in within a fortnight. All right, so it's good luck. Now. The little fox wagon has disappeared. Yep, that went. <coughs> Hang on. Would Madame like me to keep rolling? Yeah. Go in the garden. Some weeding up. needs to be done again. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> well, this little messy. Ta da! Hello! Don't me cap me again. Uh-huh. 